Hello and good morning. Hope you all are fine. Welcome to my channel. Today I will discuss any particular disease or any particular topic. Today I will tell you about a patient profile. How a young boy was affected by lymphoma one year back but he was not treated properly. Now he has led it with the same disease after one year. And uh, I will tell you this topic, this issue because I want to make you aware of this type of situation so that you don't face this type of problem in your life or in your uh, dealings with your relative or your family member. So let's start friends. A 15 year old young boy came to our OPD very recently. The history of this patient uh, was one year back, this patient came with fever, cold, cough, and supraclavicular lymph node. That means some swelling over the neck. With this presentation, patient was admitted in a local hospital of my state and then the patient was investigated and treated. During investigation, the efficacy of the lymph node was done and it came out to be lymphoma. So lymphoma is uh, a lymphoproliferative disorder. It is uh, a malignancy of uh, lymphoid cell line. So uh, I mean it is, uh, you can say cancer, it is a sort of cancer, okay. So the patient, uh, probably the patient uh, attendant, because he was a small boy, probably the patient attendant were not convinced and they were uh, like they were referred to cancer hospital uh, in our state but the patient was uh, not treated there because the attendant were not willing to take the patient to cancer hospital. Probably it happened though the attendant is not disclosing the actual reason they have gone outside Tripura to higher center. I won't name the hospital, but that is a renowned hospital of uh, the of India and outside my state. There, the patient was investigated again, and on the basis of man to test, uh, positive man to test, and ESR, only two uh, on the basis of these two investigation. The patient was put on anti-tubercular treatment. And other investigation like test X-ray, CT scan of thorax and other routine investigations were also done. So uh, the, those investigations uh, which were done in uh, my state, again it was done outside. But on the basis of these two, two tests, uh, because the sputum was negative, so uh, on the basis of mantra spatially you can say, the patient was put on antitubercular treatment <clears throat> and the patient were taking uh, the antitubercular treatment in private. They uh, bought the medicine from outside and after taking uh, two to three months, the patient actually not improving. Uh, he was having cough and fever again and again. Uh, they were not satisfied uh, and uh, according to the patient history, they didn't get the medicine outside. So they again stopped the antitubercular treatment. And after that, uh, again they have come to uh, the hospital, government hospital, and uh, they were supplied the antitubercular treatment from dogs. Because the patient requested that I was taking the medicine from private, but now I cannot afford or I am not getting the medicine, so please supply the medicine. So again the patient was uh, supplied this medicine from dogs, but patient was not. So all this drama were going on uh, for last one year. Now, the patient has come to our OPD. We have done uh, chest x-ray again. The same lesion is there. You can say the lesion is rather uh, worsened. I mean, the chest lesion was there uh, with the medicinal widening. I will show in the x-ray and CT scan. That medicinal widening has worsened and patient uh, clinical features, patient uh, general condition also deteriorated and now patient is having fever of and on, patient cannot take food, he has become thin, there is loss of weight also. Ultimately they have surrendered, they have come to me and we have done just x-ray as it is can again, the lesion is still there 
and uh, FNAC of the lesion was again done, it came out to be lymphomite. So see, the same patient, one year back lymphoma was diagnosed in this, here only, this hospital, again now also we have done uh, the same investigation and came out to be lymphoma. So uh, now we have to believe this lymphoma actually, this is not uh, primary box. There may be coexistence of pulmonary box and lymphoma, but it is a rare possibility here. Anyway, now I will show you the chest x ray as it is in 2018 and 2019. Let's see. Okay, friends, uh, this is the chest x ray of November 2018, and in this chest x ray, you see bilateral hyaline lymphadenopathy, and because of this hyaline lymphadenopathy, there is mediastinal widening. Uh, there. This is the CT scan thorax. Uh, here you see the scagram. In scagram, the same lesion, bilateral hyaline lymphadenopathy, and in the uh, mediastinal window, you can see the lymph. This is the CT scan thorax, uh, bilateral hyaline lymphadenopathy, and in the uh, mediastinal window, you can see the lymph node. Okay friends, you have seen the chest x-ray and CT scan and uh, you already know the patient profile also. By this time you must have understood that uh, the patient uh, was misdiagnosed or mistreated or you can say uh, late diagnosis, uh, the diagnosis before one year was correct but the patient was not treated. Again we are diagnosing the same thing anyway. So here you have to learn something, this is a very serious issue. We have to learn something and I will warn you that don't play with your patient. Here two lessons you have to learn. Doctors try to be correct in their diagnosis most of the time. And by accident, of course, they can be wrong. Uh, that is not intentional. So here uh, the patient uh, was diagnosed one year back and he would have been put on anti-cancer therapy patient would have been improved by this time so uh, that is one thing second thing is sometime decision on the part of patients attendant are also wrong and dangerous for the patient so please have trust on your doctor don't decide haphazardly or chaotically it will affect your patient's life. Um, that's all friends. This was a lesson for all of us. Thank you for watching this video. Stay healthy.